All right, good days. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, push data, employee data from the chat time into the device. So how are you gonna do that? First, most important of all, okay, I'm gonna share this note first with all. Okay, um, most customer of us are mostly a first time user. They always create a device which we highly do encourage reason because troublesome. Let's say you got 100, 200, are you gonna press at the device there one by one? very headache right so we don't encourage that we mostly encourage you do it at the chat time okay so let's go in the chat time to see to create an employee first okay create employee first okay you click here employee all right you click add then you type in wait for a while okay and we put a numbers okay zero 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 one whatever then your name put right here okay then as for uh, yeah nothing for the name in for the name please bear in mind we cannot name can both put any funny funny figures only a symbol whatsoever right you only you know accept me the alphabets okay i mean the uh, letters lah letters i mean a b c to z okay z and space lah, right not to other things so please bear in mind don't put any others uh uh symbols whatever right okay so, uh, certain icon like that please put that okay please stay the abc right so the device sometimes the device can accept and sometimes our programming cannot accept the name all right so bear in mind and one more thing the numbers id here okay the number id here please bear in mind we cannot accept zero 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 there okay even if put it save it there when i go into the device it will remove the zero zero in front so in the device they don't take in the zero zero in front because the zero zero in front it means like uh it's not valid it's zero I mean nothing all right so the device this device is acceptable so make sure there's no zero zero right in front and uh some uh customer asked how many device how many numbers can i accept in the device okay uh basically most of the numbers can accept now with the new device mostly it's up to nine numbers as for older device uh i see it's five numbers like let's say it's not too old like too old mostly we can accept the device because too old already right so uh the device actually mostly five nine numbers so bear that in mind now huh? five numbers huh? okay but make sure in front must start from one to nine okay don't begin with zero zero right so bear in mind that okay always start pay nine and not zero okay now let's create okay this one come to pay id pay id you can put any effort bugs whatever as long as it's matched to your payroll right this one is for matching purpose to your payroll this id is to match the device id inside there the device id does not accept uh special character whatsoever right only numbers so bear in mind so mostly this one we use it to to go uh, to link i mean to connect to the one to your payroll so bear, bear in mind okay once you're done you just click save it right here okay let's say you have a lot of lists are you going to do one by one here then of course no then we got one way click import and click sample download when it's sample download it have template something like okay let me find it okay something like this okay Okay, something look like this okay you know oh sorry not this All right maybe i carry away okay just show you for a while the employee okay yeah this one okay yes so okay yeah oh yeah yeah correct this one All right so uh sample actually when, when you download it should be something look empty just like that nothing is like that okay it should be blank all right it should be employee or name all these uh templates so which one is most important is this true okay here's employee id and here's the name okay then you pay id as a rest you want to key it's up to your all right just key it. you can later edit edit here but the id number once you push into the device cannot be added on later i will uh, talk a bit more okay make sure the name id most for this too okay so once you've done that ready then you can import it let's take a lot of this now i import one file that uh, has a lot of this or this okay call it, i also call it employee yeah yeah i will create that really hold on now let's say you're going to create that really just click import here okay should we desktop right here yeah it's uh, this out like that it's open so you will come something like this right put in put like that the numbers all right here so you can just click save it and it will go into your chat time right so it's much easier faster 
if you have a lot, if you don't have a lot, just click add one one by one. If let's say not a lot, only new one toys for those already using, right? So once you created all right here, done already, then it's time for you to push to the device. Okay, before pushing the device, I need to share notes and some more. Okay, okay, before I push it that way, right? for those are that first time they always they make this mistake, they create the 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 staff ID in the device first. If you really create that stuff, I didn't make sure you also edit the numbers because uh, some of them prefer ID number in an arrangement manner that looks neat. So in that case, you might as well create it there. Then we come to check time. Check time. We create employee. Please make sure the number is the same in the device ID. Let's say the device put that one. Okay, put that inside one. Let's do some. I call it super. Okay, let's call it super. Then make sure it's the same, right? Make sure this ID is the same inside the device. Then the data will be pushing, no worries about that. Okay, then click save, something like that. All right? So it will something like this. Okay, something like that. All right? So please do bear in mind. So for those already created in the device, really, but you haven't created yet, just create a chat type again. Then the when I link the data will push pull it all right so make sure that and our uh, id number that you already created in the device please bear in mind can that number id cannot be edited reason because of security breach issue all right if the number can edit then any person that clock different number that change id uh to and flow then you get the picture lah. okay so please take note of that don't really uh, when you decide, decide the number we use, then it's going to use. You, you want to edit, sorry, cannot. It's only deleted. Okay. In the chat time, can, but in the uh, device, cannot. Okay. If you really want to change it, the only way is to delete the users. Only way to delete the user. But the love of this user will be gone forever. Once you delete in the device, then the user of that will be gone forever. All right, it's not been there already. I mean, the ID can be still used again. The ID, but the law file of these users is gonna I mean uh, then there's not file. Okay, so do be be aware of that. All right, once you done it, then you're going to need to push it. All right, how gonna push it? You need to first thing make sure it's connected. Okay, once connected, ready, then you click user download upload. You click on this one, you select it. Then select Upload. Some that will be slow, so just click leave for a while. It will link there, will pop up. Right? One link will pop up, then you select which department. Okay, let's say in this department. Okay, you can select push one by one, just like click Upload. Okay, you also can select by few. Then Upload again. Okay, how about let's say I want to select all, then click all, then Upload again. Then the data will now go to that device. Alright, so when it's on that device, later I will. Uh, connect this video also to show you how it runs on that side all right so please bear in mind this is how you push the data employee data you created in chat time then push that so we do encourage employee uh those who are using chat time please 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 create the employee details in the chat time first once you created then only push in the device that will be much easier rather than you go that device and press one by one then it will take a very long time Okay, and very not user friendly on that part. So once you've done that, it will be there already. Okay, so please bear in mind. Don't go ahead that. Okay, looks like you just double check already. So I hope you all this one help you a lot. And later I will show you the uh, connection and the device how to do that. Okay, so uh, thank you for this. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, just now we're talking about how to really uh, push the data into the device. So the data, I already pushed the device. Now let's go to the device. Click, go to the menu, and okay. Then you log in, then go to user management. All right, then you go there, you go for all users. Okay, all users. Why is it going there? Then click that, right? Then you see that a lot of data are in, right? You notice that? A lot, okay? So remember, when I push quite huge data into here, Bring out the uh, list from the, from there so you can really uh, search by easily because you can type the number let's say i will look for 2002 you can press number two then you can see the numbers right here it's right here right so you just press zero 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 then it, the machine will auto filter for you right see numbers on a filter like that 
alright so you can select the employee just click and ok click again then you go to edit then you just goes along down here to register their fingers okay their fingers and their face right here so and you also can depends your device some device can accept batch numbers some not okay password so depend on the device can be here all right go finger the finger so once you register done all that then one by one okay just remember to do that because print up be easy look by number be easy like let's say a lot of lists on on the two it so i recommend that you all do that all right so once you've done everything okay just do that up, okay just press escape will come out do okay remember go to user management go down to select the users all right and let around the courage that's how you all do it key in all this data that's how you do it okay thank you get your check time biometric system today for more info visit our website www.check-time.com